Everybody's talking about the French girl interview. Everybody in the commentary community. It's a, it's a lovely Friday, March 12, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to bring you an Optimist style video because my good videos are going to be reserved. But you can check it out. It's it's in the eye above my head. It's called the Optimus Rant Remastered. It's actually pretty good. It has more editing and work than Optimus has in his entire channel. So, I mean, it must be worth something. It's kind of worth a watch. You should go check it out. And no, I'm not as mean in it, so yeah. Anyway, to today's video, though. I want to talk about the French girl thing because it seems like a nothing burger. And I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, just like everybody else in the commentary community is talking about this and talking about this and just regurgitating the same thing. I don't feel like doing that, but I do feel like regurgitating something that I had been talking about for a while. And that's the whole prison made Luke thing, right? You remember Glue Eater or Luke or whatever, the infamous man, the man that decides to pick fights with uh, 16 year old kids because that's a smart thing to do for your career. Now, listen, Luke, don't take career advice from me on YouTube because I'm the kind of guy that's gonna not give the popular opinion, get the benefit of the doubt in there. The exact opposite of what a clout chaser would do, even though people will continue to call it clout chasing. I learned not to take it too personally because I know most people are stupid and that's the nicest way I can put it. But that out of the way, Luke, it's time for me to get to you, bro. And speaking of stupid, you gotta take the cake. Not only did you manage to single-handedly destroy your own career, because let's be frank, your career is pretty much done on this platform. I wouldn't say it's on the levels of John Swan, but seeing all the videos getting posted out about you, I know Manga Common did a video on you, I know Jar made two or so videos about you. I know Creep Show Art is still hearting and supporting your bullshit, right? I know shit like that's going down. I know Just Stop made videos on you, destroying you. I made my videos too. That is highly edited. Cause like, who the fuck has time for that? My edited videos are gonna be, they're gonna be a special occasion. Okay, okay. But uh, I contributed a lot. I put a lot of pressure on you, Luke. And I know you heard about me and I know you've seen my videos, but you never wanted to respond to it. And that's smart of you because your career would have gotten down even more. I mean, you could have framed me like you usually frame other people. That got exposed, by the way, good job. Uh, but, you know, whatever the case might be, I would have challenged you to a debate and you would have no-show just like everybody else that lies because it's so easy to make a lie on a pre-recorded video more so than it is to make a lie live in person where hundreds of people will be able to judge how you sound, how you come off, your consistency right there in the open. People can tell, man. People will be able to tell. Your YouTube career is kind of done at this point. I haven't seen you upload in a long time and you still managed to lose subs even without uploading, which is not something that normally ends up happening to people. It's uh, it's, it's quite the debacle that you got yourself into, Mr. Luke. It's been three weeks or so, 141,000 subscribers you've really gone downhill now i don't know if this was a deliberate plan by all these people you've wronged that they came together you know and decided to say let's put out our luke videos and let's take this guy i don't know that luke i don't but i wouldn't be surprised and you know what in that case i would not feel bad for you at all and i would say that's 100 percent justified by the way you misrepresent people all the time bro in that dead monotone voice you're even more boring than Optimus is, and that's very hard to do, friend. Optimus, the most, one of the most boring commentators out there, has more personality than you. How the hell does that happen? How does Optimus have more personality than you, Luke? I mean, you have a freaking title, you have Glue Eater Luke. Optimus doesn't really have a whatever. I guess he's that one rapper that reminds me of Forever World. Hopefully he's not as, uh... Yeah, <laughs> as hard on the eyes as for never. But whatever the case, that's all I had to say about this. I'm sure some people will agree with me, you know, when I say that Luke's career on the YouTubes is kind of all but done. Don't know whose career is more dead on the tubes right now. Is it John Swan? Is it... Is it Luke? Who can make their comeback and who cannot make their comeback? Like, what are you going to do right now, Luke? Are you going to make, uh, you know... Jar, Just Stop, Manga Commons, fundamentally wrong videos on me. Are you gonna put them all together? Is this what you've been working on for like three freaking weeks? Is this what you're gonna work on? Is this what you're gonna release in a month, right? You're gonna get all this dirty laundry of these people? Or are you gonna try to reverse their shit in the most boring way possible? What are you gonna do, mate? No. 
I don't think you can recover from this. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a 1% chance. Maybe you will. But in the broad scheme of things, I'd say that your back is against the wall. And once again, I gotta say, you did this to yourself. Um, nobody did this to you initially. You did it to yourself. This is why people don't do the hardcore SJW values because they end up backfiring, right? People learn about this in the media too. You start going woke in media, your product diminishes. Look at the comic book industry. Look at Marvel. Look at those guys. They're dwindling. They're becoming whoosh, Dano snapped. Nobody cares because n nobody cares about this woke leftism SJW crap that you preach, Luke. Well, let me tell you something. They'll pretend to care, but deep down inside, they probably don't. They probably don't even care. And I know you probably don't even care either. You started to show shades of that, of how stupid, pretentious, and grandstandy you can be when you made those bizarre claims against Jar, just a robot. And then when you further did it to the 16-year-old, the you're just completely the definition, the definition of the type of leftist one should despise, not care about, and just say, okay there. That's what you are. But I've gone on for long enough. What do you guys think? Where's the glue eater? Will he make his return? Will he strike back? And uh, I don't even know. I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. <laughs> Peace out.